Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's time for our monthly roundup of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the month of May 2023. This is the series where we take six RTX 3060s from NVIDIA and put them up against six RX 6600 XTs from AMD just to see what were the top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine throughout the entire month of May. And this is historical data, but data that we can use to hopefully help us draw conclusions on what we could or should be mining in the future. Now, obviously, I pulled my data from a number of resources, as I mentioned in videos past, not just what to mine, but a number of resources, including hashrate.no, but not just these two. However, if you had a look at the 3060 side right now, it's still a lot of negative. If you're over 10 cent per kilowatt hour, everything is still in the negative, especially if you're running at these inefficient clocks, which is where hashrate.no comes into play, as many of us have mentioned before. For example, uh, what to mine just added Dynex and Ironfish or Blake 3 to their charts, but hashrate.no has other currencies that aren't listed on what to mine yet, like Novo and Pepe Pau. Now, Pepe Pau and Novo have been consistently in the top 10 throughout the end of May, but they weren't consistently in there. So you may not see them on the chart, but they were climbing up. And but the charts are just going to be focusing on the top cryptocurrencies that stay consistently in the top 10 or somewhere in the top 10. Uh, so I don't want you to think that Novo and Pepe Pau aren't profitable. They still are. It's just we want to get a consistent full month of data on those newer coins that have joined the market. Now, right this second, if you had, you know, six 3060s hashing away, Pepe Pau is the most profitable to mine. But anyways, you'll be bouncing anywhere between 40 cents to 20 cents, depending on the cryptocurrency you're mining, probably even a little bit lower than that if you're at 10 cent per kilowatt hour. Obviously, if we're looking at what to mine, which use baseline settings with a little bit of tweaking, um, we would be completely in the negative, negative 62 cents, 63 cents. So you really should take the information uh, from these various mining calculators and use that as a baseline, but not actual. And then you need to tune per your environment, your thermal condition, so on and so forth. On the AMD side of coins, kind of the same ball game. If we're looking and focusing on fiat, you only be making anywhere from 50 cents to 20 cents, depending again on the cryptocurrency that you're mining, and especially how efficient do you have your rigs uh, set up. And Hashrate.no has got a great GPU database where all that information, clocks, settings, and stuff like that are coming. And I know my boy uh, Mining Chamber is working on something as well. Moving on, the top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine throughout May with an NVIDIA GPU, six RTX 3060s, were as follows Dynex, Ironfish, Conceal which is interesting, right? Conceal is climbing up, um, especially when you tune for efficiency and, and try to reduce your power draw, but get the best hash. Radiant, Alpheum, Nexa, Xano, Caspa, Haven, and actually Ergo. Ergo climbed up in there, uh, oddly enough. I know they fall, they've fallen off or fell off or whatever you want to say uh, for months uh, previously. Um, but yeah, very interesting to see them. Now, some of the ProgPal type coins uh, we're making a push towards the end of the month again. So we saw Ravencoin climbing, Kayla coin, uh, Xano is technically a ProgPal type variant, um, and Meowcoin and so on and so forth, uh, Nyaxa. But they didn't stay in the top 10 consistently, especially considering the power draw and the cost for electricity. Now, on the AMD side of coins, we got Ironfish, Alpheum, Conceal again in that third spot. So not only third for NVIDIA, but third for AMD, which is very interesting that that project is is coming climbing back up the charts. Chlor, Radiant, Neoxa, Meowcoin, Xano, Ravencoin, and Caspa. And we saw Haven there uh, was, was at least in the top five throughout a little bit of May, but then fell off towards the end. Flux, still hanging around. I know a lot of people are still mining Flux, and you don't really see Flux on, on NVIDIA side, which usually was one of the strongest, uh, you know, pairings if you were trying to mine flux uh, where we see it on amd but it didn't stay in the top 10 so if you had a mixed rig looking at these charts basically ironfish is a good a good option if you were mixed rig mining uh conceal very good alphiums is you know still in the race radiant another one um i would say chlor but it didn't show up on the nvidia side now dynex 
very strong for NVIDIA, but not as strong for AMD. So Dynex is one to keep your eye on if you've got nothing but NVIDIA uh, GPUs. But yeah, Ironfish, Conceal, Radiant, Alpheum, and who else? Uh, Caspa is also falling off, obviously, because of the increased hash rate difficulty, the emission schedule, profitability on that coin isn't as strong as it used to be. And with the inclusion of the KS3 or ASICs being built for that particular algorithm, we might see even more uh, reduction of its profitability for GPU miners as they move on or grow beyond the GPU miners. But I would say those four are pretty much the ones uh, that if you had a mixed rig, I would go with. Now, some of the ProgPal coins, again, were making a strong push on the NVIDIA side, but have stayed consistently, or some of them have stayed consistently in the top 10 for the AMD side of things. So it really comes down to what are your convictions, what projects you want to support, what projects you believe in, and what projects you want to focus on. Because most of us are mining, GPU mining, these cryptocurrencies at a loss. And a lot of us had to adjust or pivot our strategy to best suit the situation that we are in, which is the current market. Now, what's another interesting aspect that we bumped into over the month, and I posted this on Twitter, if you don't follow me, check me out, um, is Caspa is starting to make its own, you know, it's starting to make its own path. It's not following the up and downs of this volatile market with Bitcoin. Usually a lot of the cryptocurrencies just follow what Bitcoin does, right? But Caspa started to teeter off and go off on its own which can be a positive thing and a good thing. And I talked about this in a previous video. So keep an eye on that project because even with the increased uh, concern over ASICs dominating the network, Caspa can still push through if they continue to adjust, push their marketing, grow, uh, get accepted or placed on various exchanges. If they just continue their growth and their marketing campaign the way they are, they should be able to push through this uncertainty with all the ASICs coming online. Yes, it won't be profitable for GPU miners to mine, but if you still have some CASPA laying around, you might be able to take uh, profits later on. So this is a long-term play, not a short-term play, and not a financial advice. I'm just saying keep your eye on that situation. I know that the market is still not where we want it to be. GPU mining is not profitable. Many people are selling their GPUs, so you can pick it up cheap. But will GP money return? I certainly believe so. However, sound off in the comments down below. That's going to do it for today, though. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell uh, down below or wherever you are on your phone or on your computer. Check out some of the links in the description because it helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate your support. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.